random experiment which is very very important definition in probability an experiment is said to be random experiment if it satisfies the following conditions first i'll write all those three conditions later i'll take an example and i'll discuss all these three conditions an experiment which can be repeated any number of times under identical conditions first point is what experiment can be repeated any number of times under identical conditions second point all the results of the experiment are known in advance all the results of the experiment are known in advance third point but actual result in a particular case is not known in advance now we will discuss these three things with an example tossing a coin tossing a coin is a random experiment we will observe whether it satisfies first condition or not tossing a coin it can be repeated any number of times under identical conditions yes we can toss a coin any number of times under identical conditions all the results of the experiment are known in advance yes when a coin is tossed what it results it results either head or tail so all the results of the experiment are known in advance so second one also holds good but actual result in a particular case is not known in advance suppose a coin is tossed coin is in the air what it results exactly we don't know so tossing a coin satisfies all these three conditions therefore tossing a coin is a random experiment second example rolling a die is rolling a die is a random experiment we'll see whether it satisfies first condition or not rolling a die how many times we want that many times we can roll a die under identical conditions so first condition holds good all the results of the experiment are known in advance second one all the results of the experiment are known in advance when a die is rolled what it results it results either 1 or 2 or 3 or 4 or 5 or 6 so second condition holds good but actual result in a particular case is not known in advance that means when a die i am going to roll a die what it results exactly i don't know so rolling a die satisfies all these three conditions therefore rolling a die is a random experiment third example drawing a chord from pack of chords now we will see whether it satisfies first condition or not we can draw a chord from pack of chords how many times we want we can draw under identical conditions so experiment can be repeated any number of times under identical conditions all the results of the experiment are known in advance if we draw a chord from pack of 52 chords we know what it is going to be it is going to be any one of those 52 chords we know all 52 chords in pack of chords third point actual result in a particular case is not known in advance suppose i am going to draw a chord what it comes exactly i don't know so drawing a chord from pack of chords satisfying all these three conditions therefore drawing a chord from pack of chords is a random experiment i hope you understand the definition of random experiment this is very very important definition in probability i hope you understand this class if you like this video please share it with your friends if you are not yet subscribed to my youtube channel subscribe now thanks for watching have a great day bye bye